Hey guys, today I want to show you how to combine a cinematic rack focus with a tracked title. Uh, Steve, you mean something like this? Exactly like that. In the timeline, I've placed a cinematic clip of my wife Jill, our company CFO. I have cinematic mode enabled, and the depth of field is set at f2.0 for maximum background blurriness. I'll reveal the cinematic editor by pressing Control Option F. The first thing I want to point out is that there is only one AI generated focus point, and it occurs at the beginning of the clip. Because there was nothing else in the frame for the machine learning to track, the focus was locked on her for the duration of the clip. Now here's a tip when shooting in cinematic mode with your iPhone 13. I suggest locking the focus on your subject whenever possible. Because the iPhone is always hunting for things to focus on, locking the focus will save you work in post because you won't have to deal with random camera generated focus points that show up in your clips. So what I want to do with this clip is rack focus to the building behind her and reveal a track title with a message. I'll play back the clip and pause after her comment about her birthday. Oh, my birthday was great. I'll enable the cinematic tool in the view menu to bring up the on-screen controls, then double click on her face to create a focus point and lock it. I want the rack focus to occur over 10 frames, so I'll hold down the shift key and press the right arrow to move the playhead 10 frames later. I'll double click on the building to create a new focus point while locking it on the background. I'll play forward until she mentions her favorite restaurant. Because I got to go to my favorite restaurant. Then double click on the background again to lock it. You'll discover that focus points behave like keyframes. Because like animation, the focus is interpolated from one focus point to the next. This is why I had to create a third focus point that keeps the focus locked on the background. This sets me up for creating the final rack focus back to Jill. With the playhead parked on the third keyframe, I'll press shift right arrow to move the playhead 10 frames later. Then click on her face to lock the final focus point. I'll play that back. Oh, my birthday was great because I got to go to my favorite restaurant. And awesome. Let's turn our attention to the title. In the title sidebar, I'll locate RT Tracking Essentials. This is a plugin we just released today that includes trackable arrows, shapes, talk bubbles, emojis, text labels, and much more. Right now, they're on sale for 20 bucks. I put a link in the description. I'm going to use this animated text box. In the timeline, I'll move the playhead where I want the title to start, just before this first focus point. Then I'll drag the title into the viewer and place it over the building and release the mouse. With the tracking tools visible, I'll analyze the clip. Scrubbing over the clip, I can see that the title is tracked with a subtle camera movement. Next, I'll jump into the text inspector to do some formatting. Mark published a ton of parameters that you can adjust for this one graphic alone. In order to see all of them, I'll double click at the top of the inspector to make it full height. I'll enter my text, change the font, the font color, the size of the graphic, the box fill color, the box fill opacity, the outline color, and so much more. I'll reposition the text box over the building. Great! For the final step, I want to create an animated blur that matches the rack focus. Select the clip, then depending on where your playhead is, you'll press Shift Option Command left arrow to move the playhead to a previous focus point, or Shift Option Command right arrow to move the playhead to the next focus point. With the playhead on the first focus point, I'll press Command Up Arrow to select the title. Press Option 5 to reveal the effects browser, then double click the Gaussian Blur to apply it to the title. And press Command 5 to close the effects browser. In the inspector, click the film strip to reveal the video inspector and set a keyframe for the blur amount, which is currently set at 50%. Press Command Down Arrow to select the cinematic clip. 
and press Shift Option Command right arrow to move the playhead to the next focus point. Press Command up arrow to select the title, and in the inspector, set the blur amount to zero. Press Command down arrow again, then Shift Option Command right arrow to move to the third focus point. Press Command up arrow again, and set a third keyframe. This keyframe locks the Gaussian blur amount to the previous keyframe's value at 0%. Command down arrow again, Shift Option Command right arrow, Command up arrow, then set the final blur keyframe at 50%. Before playing back, I want to extend the title to the beginning of the clip so that it's part of the background that will come into focus. Let's take a look. Oh, my birthday was great because I got to go to my favorite restaurant and I got to have my favorite people. So hey guys, what do you think? Have you had a chance to use the new cinematic editing tool? Have you upgraded to Monterey? What do you think about combining the tracker with the uh, cinematic rack focus? Let us know in the comments below. And we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the like button, and thanks for watching. Yeah.